What do you think he feeds his hand? Hmm. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we're going to be opening up the SH Figure Arts Yuji Itadori. If you guys thought this was going to be the Bluefin edition, this is not. This is the Japanese version. I picked it up on Amazon.jp. If you're thinking of getting this at www.dstartoys.com, you can sometime this week. I only got like two or three of them in. This is a super popular anime, super popular toy. Unfortunately, I only was able to get two. So if you're part of the Discord, that's when I drop, hey, I got it. And then I drop, and I also drop it on my Instagram next. So you got to be fast on it. I know this guy sold out everywhere else. You got to be real quick. But enough of me talking about that. Let's talk and see if he's even worth the buy. So we're going to unbox this. We're going to look at paint and detail, articulation, scale, and accessories. So enough of me talking. Let's go to the top cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Also, I don't like that it has this sticker. Ugh. Anyway, he's going to be unboxed anyway, so no big deal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Small box. Uh, according to Bluefin, they did not expect that this figure would sell that well when it first got released because the anime wasn't super duper popular when he was made, but now the anime is like exploded. My goodness. I've watched a little bit. I'm only up to episode 7, I believe. And uh, yeah, I don't know that much about the character. I mean, I only know up to episode 7. So let's go see what we're doing here and let's get out of top cam. Let's zoom right into this guy's face, which is the most important part of this figure whenever we look at paint detail the face comes first first things first let's look at that extra spiky brownish red hair that looks really cool and we also got that shave cut down here extra spiky and also looks like it is matte finish looking really solid the face is actually really really well done you can see that they put a matte finish on the skin tone giving it a really nice look especially when you put it in the light looks really nice and soft and natural the eyes are also looking really well painted on nothing going on right here and also we have the marks here on the side just like in the anime and the mouth is looking well painted so so far so good when it comes to the paint let's look at the body right here so his uniform is looking really solid. We also have the red collar, which signifies that he is cursed, I believe. Someone correct me down in chat, down at twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. And uh, yeah, the suit looks really good. Now, here's one thing that I noticed when, when I started seeing pictures of this guy. All right. And people in chat, I'm going to go be looking in chat in just about one minute because I'm going to talk about this. I think his hands are too big. Let's look at this. Compared to his face, now in the anime, I never, it never occurred to me that his hands are this big, probably as big as his head. But I think when it comes to the SH figure arts, the hands are a little bit too big. So let's see what everyone in chat is saying. Does everyone agree with me on this one? Um, let's see. So the hands look all right. All right. Nexodai disagrees, says the hands are all right. I thought they were just a tad bit too big. And this is just a personal taste. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Maybe it is like this in the anime, but it's just just a tad. I wouldn't say it's like super, super big, like Mickey Mouse hands. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying it's just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Too big. Just a little bit. Okay. Anyway, let's look at the pants right here. And these look really good. Solid matte finish on the pants and the suit and everything like that. And the, and the shoes, these kicks are looking really sh sharp with the laces and everything like that we got black soles and a like darkish leather red look on the feet right there so so far so good um i'm liking this figure regardless of what i think about the hands let's get a really quick look let's zoom out and let's see what we're dealing with here look at this guy he looks absolutely amazing i have to say sh figure arts did a really really solid job on this guy and i am loving it so far i believe i'm getting gojo next week so, yeah, I can't wait to put those two together. Uh, let's see what everyone else is saying. Uh, someone said, actually, yeah, they're pretty big. Big hands, man. Hands a little large, but it's not bad. That, yeah, I agree with Scorpion Flame 66. It's it, it's not that bad. I know, I know. It, it is obvious to me when I first saw this guy, but I was like, you know what? I could deal with it. He still looks awesome. The face, the suit, and everything else. You can't, I mean, it looks great. It looks great. Anyway, guys, um, let's move on to articulation and scale. 
So his hands are, um, let's see here, just a quarter. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's look here. This guy is standing about almost six inches right there. Let's see. Let's sorry. There we go. Uh, he is almost six inches. He's past five and three quarters. So there you go. We got to compare him with other SH figure arts. Here is SH figure arts Bardock. This guy is almost sold out on my store. Really hot seller. And there you go. And here is my GT Goku with Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Head. So it does work with that. That is a Kong body, by the way. Here is Marvel Legends Cyborg Spider-Man, which is... I am thoroughly liking this figure. If you wanted to know how he looks with Anime Heroes, here's Anime Heroes... Um, not, sorry, not Anime Heroes. Um, Dragon Stars, um, Super Saiyan Bardock. And it looks like they work really well. Let's get another... Shonen anime character in here. Here is anime heroes Deku. So it looks like these two actually work really well together. So there you have it. Let's talk about articulation. First things first, let's remove the protector. This guy needs to go. Let's look at the toe. Obviously, it has to have toe, toe joints because SH figure arts. We have up and down here at the toe. Ooh, really nice, solid swivel. Let's look at this, guys. Let's see if we can focus up there. This swivel is nice. Look at that. I really like that you can angle that, 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 uh, what do you call it? That ankle really well. So anyway, that's nice. So it also rotates as well. Uh, there's no rotation here at the pant leg as I thought there would be. Let's give that one more try. No, that is not rotating. And if it is, it's too tight. We have a double jointed knee right here. One, two. And of course we have the version two SH figure arts body joints, leg joints right there. And Geo260, thank you for the new sub, my friend. Thank you so much. So leg joints, really solid, solid kicks. Woo, look at that kick. Very nice. And we have rotation here at the bottom part of the waist and the top of the waist right here. And it looks like we can get some solid ab crunch because, you know, he's a martial artist. You got to keep that body going. And we have butterfly joints right here looking really, really good. Bicep swivel as well, part of the shoulder joints. And we have, yeah, yeah, part here, right here. Right here, so here is the bicep symbol, as I was saying. We have a double joint elbow right here. We have a single peg right here at the wrist, and of course we have two at the neck. One right here, and one right here on the top, looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. Let's go, let's pose this guy. He's looking really solid. Let's get him into a fighting pose. Boom, look at that. Bam, right there, side kick, front kick, flying knee. His backwards kick that he does. Bam, look at that. That looks really cool. Let's get some breakdancing moves in there. Sure, let's do a handstand. Let's do a windmill. Boom, and then of course, we gotta do the superhero landing pose. Bam, right there. Looking really good. And of course, last but not least, my favorite special move. We got the go shore you can right here. Looking really good. Nothing wrong with articulation. This guy can do pretty much anything you want him to do from the anime. No issues here. Now let's go into the accessories. Let's go to the top cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Of course, we have his uh, when he's possessed by S Sukuna, right? I think that's Sukuna. Am I right, guys? Anyone in the chat, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, also, and the hand with the mouth on it. And of course, we have the divergent fist, I believe. Special move right here. And four extra hands, three extra faces, and extra hair here for when he's cursed. And that looks really solid here. So let's Go out of the top cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's get some of these faces in. Uh, so we're dealing with a yelling face right there. Let's switch out the faces. Pretty simple to do. The top part comes off just like any other SH figure arts. Usually that's the case. And let me see. The face doesn't seem to want to come off as easily. So this is a pretty tight fit. So let's remove that. And let's get the yelling face on there. See what he looks like. And so, ooh, look at that one. Look at that one, boys. Looking really sharp. So yeah, there he is with the yelling face right there after it got into focus. Uh, let's look at his kind of neutral annoyed face is what this kind of looks like. All right, and there it is right there, neutral annoyed. And last but not least, of course, we have to do 
the cursed Sakuno face. Now, I really kind of wish we got more than one. Uh, when it comes to this guy, we only get one face. And that's kind of unfortunate because this guy has a lot of personality. So there you have it. Let's see if we can get that on. Hold on one second. Got to line up the pegs. And there you have it. I was hoping for a more maniacal laugh face. But this is the only face we get. And there isn't any issue with this one at all. Let's look really close at this face. This face really does matter. And I really love that they got all the, the proper markings on the face just right. Very accurate. Very clean paintwork right there. Looking really, really good. Loving this. Looking really solid. So let's do this. Let's get the hand in there. And there you have it. Boom, right there. See if we can focus up on just the hand. There it is. Let's zoom into the hand. Does he feed this thing? I don't know. I don't think he does, right? Wait, yeah, he does. Yeah, if I remember correctly. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, um, yeah, so far, so good. Now, last but not least, we'll look at the hands. Let's get the um, divergent fist effect pieces. Boom, right there, looking really good. You get two of these, but I'm just going to keep it like this, and we'll look at the other two, the other one, at the end of the video. So, much like the anime, we're going to end when he's in the cursed form, and we're going to come up with a conclusion of this guy. Is this worth the money? Yes, if you can find it. <laughs> I know these are selling out really fast, really hot everywhere in Japan, and probably here in America, all the pre-orders are gone. Uh, if you can get it, yes, this is a really cool-looking figure. Uh, especially if you love the anime, the anime is doing really well. So I honestly, uh, there probably is going to be another shipment of these. I am hoping Bluefin and Bandai make more of these. If not, well, you better get yours soon. Highly recommend it. Hands a little bit big, but you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, I don't mind it at all. It looks really good. This is a really good figure, guys. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, you can always go to www.eastrypoints.com where I'm going to search for awesome action figures. Well, well not, I don't know about this guy. I only am getting two pieces, so maybe not so reliable on this guy. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.
Thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here.